please remember to like and subscribe. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons for supporting the channel. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simonist and I, Ways UK Mod. So I am finally, finally back at home. It's nothing better than a home sweet home. Uh, only problem now is for the past like three or four days, you know where your bicep, tricep and shoulder meet? We usually get injections in your shoulder. For like three or four days, I've had this seriously intense pain. It's almost like a pinched nerve or something that just doesn't want to release. And it got so bad yesterday, it almost felt like I was on the verge of tears. So for some reason, even now just recording, having my arm bent this way to touch the keyboard is actually very, very sore. Um, but yeah, let's just hope the sound, everything's now fine. Uh, also guys, this should be the last time I actually reference the sound because finally we are back. So there's no echo or anything like that. Although now we're back to the barking dogs. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, I got attacked in the meantime. So let's just quickly pick this up. Uh, already put in a few commands like no fog, uh, GFX AF0, so that's for the lag. And then GFX SD budget zero, that's supposed to help with like the textures. If the textures get very murky or blurry, you just put that um, budget one in. It actually helps a lot. Okay, so now I made this for what again? I can't remember why I put this in over here. I know we do need nails and stuff for our wood base. Or the, for our base itself. I think for forged iron, how much do we have? Not a lot. Let's just actually make a ton, a ton of forged iron over here. We can make 160 or make 80 for now. Because that's going to go towards workbenches and stuff. And also it's going to help us make electric fence posts. Because as, so thanks to my one design in my vanilla Ward Night Every Night stream series that we ended, I now have more or less an idea of what I want to do. What I can do to really help with the wood base. Okay, so we have a full auto mod over here. I don't think it can go on a shotgun. Let me just check. No, it can only probably go on the automatic shotgun. Anything auto. Okay, we have some HD ammo bundle over here. We have blade traps. Yeah, I have a perfect design in mind that I want to try, but we're going to do it over here where it's safe. So our horde base is going to be over here. The only reason I'm doing it there, guys, is the fact that we don't have to worry. I think I'm going to go down the road. Uh, we don't have to worry at all about the zombies breaking the floor that often or that easily because of the fact that we actually have asphalt underneath us. If there wasn't asphalt underneath us, it would be way, way too... You know what? I uh, didn't reload this. Yeah, with, uh, without asphalt underneath you, only dirt and stuff that break the blocks really easy, especially crop explosions. So we're going to try and see now whether it's going to be uh, working better or not. We still have to clear out this whole POI before we can actually progress as well, so I need to do that as soon as possible. Uh, Feral Sense is on, so I need to be careful of zombies just coming in from all over. But for now, I think we took out the vultures in there already, and we already faced the Horde Knights of here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Although that lag just now doesn't inspire confidence. Basically, the Horde base is going to be right Yeah. I don't want to break too many of these blocks yet. They're annoying as hell. For those of you new to Alpha 20, these are not blocks. Every single one of the No, these are not paint. Every single one of these are blocks. There you go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow. Hello, Feral Steve. Why can I keep missing your head? You can see it's been a while since we've actually played. Now, what I could do, you know, let's just do it. I just called a ton of dogs and stuff to me, but that's fine. We do have an ATM over there that I want to go check out. And then I think all the vultures that were behind this thing I already got, right? Like the first time I actually came in here, all of a sudden all of them came flying at me. Guys, it's been so long since I've actually played on this save that I just had to watch a video to see exactly where I was previously. Yeah, there's a hole over here that's not good. Um, but yeah, guys, these are blocks. Every single one of these you have to break. The nice thing is, however, you get stoned for breaking them. Uh, in my vanilla series, we use this place. I know it might get a little bit repetitive for some of you guys. But guys, this asphalt underneath, look at this. Boom, 1,500. It's like cobble. It's 1,500 HP, and I think we might actually be able to upgrade to concrete as well, right? No, okay, that's as tough as it can go, unfortunately. Okay, so we do have uh, cobblestone cubes, and we do have the wooden cubes. And we also do have cobblestone. So I think they just start uh, first start with a cobble over here. Um, the nice thing is we're going to level up a lot by doing this right now. So this time around, I'm going to do it right from the start. Uh, we need to go about 7x7. Seven seven, because if it's too small, then you have problems later. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we just have to line these up. Ooh. 
It worked out perfectly just now. But basically, I need to make sure that we can do this as fast as possible now as well. Because I don't want any zombies interfering. Um, hmm, now that I have concrete on me, I should probably drop it on my bike over here. Because what I want to do is I want to drop my concrete. And then I want to place wooden frames over here. And then the wooden frames we can actually upgrade with the cobble we have on us. See, with these blocks, guys, it's not the shape. So you don't even have to use any wood. Because usually you place a shape and then you upgrade it to this shape over here. Um, but now, thanks to the fact that we have four traders and we're doing all their quests at once, they're giving us a ton of these rewards. So we just saved a ton of wood. And the nice thing is in this mod, look how fast the upgrades are. I wish it was like this in, the, uh, like this in vanilla as well. Imagine. Unfortunately, the vanilla one is a little bit slower. But yeah, guys, I have a nice design in mind. Whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. Um, the nice thing about our Horde Nights every night is we face like a day... Ooh, uh, we, we finished on a day 70 Horde. But basically, by day 26, 25, we already had Hordes that are numbered in the hundreds. Day 100 and something. Because that's just how tough those war Hordes were getting. We got Behemoth, uh, Demolishers, everything just... It, it was overwhelming as hell. And the funny thing is you get behemoths before you get demolishers. It goes to show how OP de demolishers are now in Alpha 20. Like literally guys, th those demolishers did like one explosion and they take out all your blade traps. Uh, the radiator cops the same. They do uh, they vomit once, all your blade traps gone. So I am going to put in blade traps over here. But I'm actually going to be going and focusing a little bit more on the electric fence post side of things. There's a design that I said in, uh, in my vanilla series that I want to try and if I can do it right over here. Let me know. Okay, from now on, that's going to be like the stock defense. And then as soon as we have that defense up running, it'll be a safe for Horde Knight. Then we can start focusing on gathering resources and building something bigger. A lot of people say, oh, don't do this, don't do that. Uh, it's boring watching the same thing over and over and over. But guys, you have to start somewhere. Either make a Horde base that you know definitely 100% is going to work and then go from there. Or take over a pure eye that's already existing and just build the defense there. You need to save up on resources. Don't just use your resources from the start. Since this is going to be my main defense, I don't mind wasting a bit of resources. And the fact that the traders gave us so much stuff. For those of you know in Alpha, in, Al in Where's UK mod, there's some traders, we call them multi-traders. Uh, it can be anything from two traders, three or four. And I got a four trader over here on the ground. So uh, basically where we started just now, the, uh, where we started the save, where that tree was, there's, there's a bunker and it's with four traders. And the nice thing is, as you do quests for traders, when you go from level 1 to level 2, you get two rewards. Because our Daring Adventurer, that's another thing that's awesome about Where's UK, you get two skill points per level. So our Daring Adventurer is maxed out, which means we get two rewards from the traders every time we go talk to them. Which is really freaking awesome, because with four traders, we're going to complete all their quests, like four times. Like when you go from uh, tier 1 to tier 2, you actually get rewards, or like bonus rewards. Um, and then you can choose like blocks and stuff. That's why we have so much wooden blocks. And the fact that we can do it with all four traders at once, you don't have to drive over the map to complete the other traders' quest. That is epic. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, we're going to make cobble as much as possible. And then the second one over here all the way around needs to be, let me just do this. The second one all the way around needs to be concrete. Because we want to make sure that if we get attacked during Horde Night, the zombies don't say, oh, cobble's easier to break. Because that actually happened in my vanilla series, where the zombies just decided, you know what, it's easier going through the blocks than going through the steel window we had over here. The steel window actually worked like crazy, but unfortunately, uh, because the blocks underneath were weaker than the window, they decided to dig instead of path. Which is dumb, because I mean, that was such a small difference. It's just nice being back home and now being able to record. I'm only going to record this one tonight. Uh, guys, I got back like two hours ago. I had to set up my whole uh, setup again over here. And then test whether all the sound was working, programs were working, all that stuff. How many levels was this? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. But yeah, I needed to test whether everything was working or not. And now I'm just really recording this. With my arm the way it is, I'm going to have to apply ice packs and heat packs and stuff until this heals. This pain is insane. Okay, I wonder how much concrete mix we have. Ooh, that's not a lot. So we should actually for now just focus on the defense over here then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, let's just do all of these. The whole front needs to be concrete. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. 
There's zombies everywhere just breaking stuff. I can actually hear them all over. Now, during the Warden Knights on the other uh, series, I actually found out that this works really, really well. Is there the zombies in this place? Oh, yeah, there's a final stash over there. Guys, my vanilla series it was so funny. We got, uh, like, today 20-something, two-hour days, and I never realized, I cleared this whole place, never realized there was a final stash over there. So that might be worth going for, although, I don't know, our skills at the moment. Oh, yeah, apparently you can buy this as well. I didn't even realize this. Increased maximum health and st uh, stamina by three. Scavenger. Increased damage resistance. Efficiency. Lose 2% less stamina while swinging melee tools and weapons. Ooh, that might actually be really awesome. Crafting. Increase your crafting speed by 5%. See, early game, I think stuff like this really helps. Now, how many points does it use? Only one or two? One point. Intellect level five required. Okay, our intellect's high enough, so we should actually be able to go for this. Uh, one of you guys actually mentioned this, and I didn't even realize this was here until now. Clip size by 3% and damage. Yeah, so since our shotgun's our main weapon, and we're going to aim for a automatic shotgun, requires boomstick level 2. So I need to go for boomstick over here. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even realize this was over here. This is a new thing in Waze UK. So thank you guys as always for your tips, guys. It always means so much to me when you guys comment like that. Oh, there's another thing that I wanted to try. Apparently... There's a um, lover bunny, as one of the subs, um, said she uses this. But that, it doesn't work for me when I try and use it against zombies. They break it so much easier for me than with poles. You know what? Bye bye. I do not feel like struggling. But yeah, there's a design that I actually want to try over here now that I thought of very, very late in my other series. So we're going to go for advanced rotation. It needs to be. No, it needs to be that side. And it must be on the top, it must be on the bottom. Otherwise, the zombies will be able to fit through. But I missed the rotation just now, that one there. So basically, the zombies um, can't pass. They try and fit through over here, but they can't. They get stuck. And then what I want to do this time, because remember, this is on the second block, not this block connected to this. So what I want to do over here is actually put one that connects to it, that touches it. So now they have to break through two poles over here to try and get to me. Boom. I can't believe I didn't think about this earlier or uh, sooner because it really would have helped a lot. Yeah, copy shape, copy rotation. Remember, guys, you have to copy that rotation. Otherwise, it does end up looking a little bit different. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't try. Because I remember, there's going to be behemoths and stuff as well later game. But then again, you don't want too many zombies being able to stand up and getting to you. If the behemoths are super tall, I wonder if the other updates that you guys uh, sent me um was, it's gonna work basically we installed the behemoths in the game and then uh, one of you guys uh i think killer bunny sent me a file let me just quickly think of how i'm gonna do this right now yeah uh killer bunny sent me a file that fixes like the hands and the size basically it makes them a little bit shorter and easier to deal with because some of these behemoths are so super tall when they go in, uh, in a hallway like this that's two blocks high, where normal zombies just stand, that thing crawls. And it's so super creepy when a behemoth starts to crawl. But guys, the radiant behemoths, they are the most insane ones in the game. And if I'm not mistaken, this mod definitely has those things. Radiant behemoths. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to rethink of how I'm going to do this, because in Alpha 20, they change electric fence posts. Instead of where the fence posts can stand upright like this, it has to lie on its side, so it actually floats in the air for some reason. I don't know if it was a, a it was on purpose or whatever, but I, I I think it's a design flaw actually. Ooh, um, I want to make this as wide as possible. I need to make a fallback room as well. In my previous series, I didn't have a fallback room, and that really got me. Let's go for the full blocks. I think full blocks are way more sturdy as well. We'll place that one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just make this thing super tall as well. So I think four blocks high, because we want to put some turrets above us as well. We could even go five blocks high, because that way we can actually put a ton of turrets in it. So if we get overrun and the zombies inside, we don't have to worry. Because that's what basically happened in my vanilla series, guys. These behemoths and stuff, and especially demolishers, team up, and they break through your defenses like it's nothing, like it's super, super easy. That was so super scary. Um, for those of you that actually missed my my series finale, go check it out, guys. It was insane. Okay, so all of this needs to be concrete. Yeah, I don't really want to waste my concrete over here. 
They're out of cobble. Wait, what? They're out of cobble. Damn. Okay, so I can just use cobble shapes now, but still. It's a nice thing we still have the 500 actual cobble blocks. Negotiate show. We just used up 2,000 cobble. Damn, this thing's big. But yeah, uh, basically, I'm going to put a ton of turrets over here. If the zombies manage to break through, I'm going to step back, step on a plate, and the turrets are going to light them up. Although, just like in the vanilla series, it's going to cause so much lag. Guys, my last series, I cannot believe what happened during that horde. I actually want to make a clip of it. It was super, super insane. The, the frame rates got so bad. We were facing a 32 Blood Moon spawn. But because our game stage was super high and we killed like 12,000 zombies during the series, which sounds weird because it was only day 26, we killed 12,000 zombies, so they were OP as hell. And the amount of damage they were doing was insane as well. Wait, now the nice thing I find in this alpha is the fact that you can make ladders out of any resource. So this is freaking awesome. Uh, and I just misplaced it. Can you believe it? That is Jean for you. And I'm gonna have to cut away. You know, I wonder if I shouldn't just leave it for now. This one will break. The other one will leave for now until we have like a steel pick. It's gonna be a while until we can actually use this defense as well because I need a ton of electric fence posts. As it's bad, this affected, um, it's my left shoulder. It feels like the, uh, I, I can't move my arm at all. It's really so damn painful and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, I tried to scratch my chin just now with the arm, but I couldn't even lift my arm. When I change my shirts, I have to uh, let someone help me because I can't pick up my arm. Okay, so these need to be concrete as much as, as soon as possible, but we also need to make sure that the outside of here, we can actually put our defenses up. Now, a thing that really helped or worked during Horde Night was if you go over here and you go for a quarter block centered side. Because that way... The zombies don't drop in. If you go centered over here, just this like in the middle of the block over here, like on top of here, they actually fall into the block and then run and you struggle to see the heads. But this way, they stay on top like they're running on a full block. So you go for advanced rotation. We're just quickly going to put this in and then we're going to go have some fun. Because we're out of, con or out of resources right now. So I first want to go stock up on resources before I go any further than this. There's no point in going further if you don't have any resources. Two, three, four, five. Six. I'm gonna do the same over here. I didn't even have a backup like this in my vanilla series, and a, a few times they broke my base because they broke that. Now, uh, for those of you wondering why I did this just now, if the top one breaks, the bottom is still there, so they do still path, go down, and go up again. Obviously, if they stand over here on the second one, then break that one, then you have a little bit of a problem, but they should still technically path to you. Okay, we should probably just do... I can't jump that high. Probably just do this, and then... Around the corner like this. No, we can't jump that high. Okay, so at least now with this way we can get inside. I need to make a, a nice way in and out of this place, and I want to put some turrets upstairs for the vultures. So not just turrets inside to help with zombies breaking through, but also turrets on the outside like this. Okay, we're gonna go for copy shape, copy rotation. The blade traps are gonna be here. I need to think of that how this is gonna work now. I want the blade traps only on one side. Unfortunately, guys, Alpha 20 works way different than Alpha 19. So uh, I think I've so showed you guys this before, but just in case you guys missed it, I used to do... Go for advanced rotation. I used to do this in Alpha 19. And what the zombies would do is they treat these two blocks as one block and run down the middle. But now in Alpha 20, they just pick one block and they run on this one block. They ignore the fact that that block's there. They just go on this one. Even though it's too wide and they should run there. If it wasn't for that fact, that I'd actually be able to make a defense where there's blade traps here and here. But now we can't do that because you can't have a, uh, the blades of the blade trap can't interact with the same block. It has to be an even ball to have blade traps on both sides. What I could do is place a blade trap there and place a blade trap here. Go a little bit further away, but I, I don't want to make it too far away because the zombies end up breaking the blade traps really fast. Especially the... Let me just put this on. Oh no, uh, especially the, uh, the, the, what do you call it, behemoths and demolishers. They break the blade traps like it's candy to be broken, or uh, I don't know how to explain. Just, they just really break it fast. Okay, so the blade traps going to be on the bottom. I want them to come from which direction? Hmm. I'm first going to put, uh, yeah, let's just this time around put the electric fence post in before we do anything else. So I'll leave a space for the blade traps. Although, then again, we need to decide where the blade traps are going to be to be able to do this now. A blade trap, I think, needs to be... Let's make them come from that direction. 
yeah, we'll, we'll make them come from that direction over there, which means we can actually fill this one up completely. But I want to put in, let's put in a ramp block. No, wait, wait, wait. I wonder if an incline block wouldn't work just as well. If you go for incline. No, what does that for? Is there such thing as an incline? Uh, oh, it's called 60 degree something, right? Now what? If you go for the wedge over here, it says wedge 60 tip. Um, what about ramp 60? Because basically I want to, I want to put this. Yeah, wedge, there you go. I want to put this upside down so the zombies can still ragdoll through. We'll go for advanced rotation. I wonder if they're going to be able to fall through that easily. Um, let just see if I can find a rotation that's going to look better as well. Yeah, that might work. See, I want the zombies, as soon as they fall backwards, they need to ragdoll. So we'll do this. I want to put the blade traps on the side the zombies are coming from. So it's less likely for them to actually break, uh, break the blade traps. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to put blade traps over here. But what we do then is we do this. Because the blade trap is going to be on its own block. Copy shape, copy rotation. So that's the first blade trap. And then that's a blade, that's a blade, that's the next blade trap. And then on top of this, we actually put ourselves... I wonder if I shouldn't use this block again. It doesn't have to be a ramp. Oh no, it could be a full block. It has to be a full block. Otherwise, if it's not a full block, the zombies are going to be able to hit the blades too easily. So we do this, and at the back, we'll go and we'll block the blades off. Now, what we could also do is we could put blades head level, guys. But as soon as a crop stands here and vomits, it's more likely to hit a blade trap upstairs than it is to uh, knock uh, blade hit the ones downstairs. So this time around, what I'm going to make sure is I only have these two over here to repair. And then we're going to have a ton of electric fence posts helping us over here. Now, since I know what late game looks like because of my Horde Every Night series, I know more or less what to expect and what not to do. Man, we have so much wood. We just need cobble. So the more of these level 2 quests we do, especially the level 1 ones, if we can complete these and hand them into the trader, where is this? Let's quickly go do this. If we can actually uh, complete another trader's quest for it, um, we're going to get way better resources and stuff. If we can get 500 cobble blocks again instead of 500 wood, that's going to be awesome. Or if we can just get a ton of cobble. I wonder, do we have anything that can break through these blocks? Yes! We have also breaching rounds over here. There's a ton of zombies that should wake up on the inside, but that's fine. There you go. Lucky little goggles, just in case. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, not bad. Not great, but not bad at all. I wonder if there's a way to break through over here. I know you can fall from the roof over there, but I'm just afraid if I fall inside, there might be too many zombies. Although it's early game, so I'm doubting there's going to be a ton of tough zombies. Let's go for normal shape. Let's take that out. And we'll go for frame. Remember, guys, you can actually do the full block so the zombies can't see you. Oh, there might be vultures. No, 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 no. Something just spawned in. You can do the full block so the zombies can't see you, but with a frame, you can actually shoot through the frame. And there's dogs now. I just want to make sure there's no vultures up here. I do not want to get infected again. Oh, they're going over here. What if it's possible for me to get inside of here? No, not that side. Okay, because there is a staircase over here, so if I can actually make the dogs come over here... I'm just gonna go guns blazing. Downstairs or upstairs? Oops! Giant. Okay, that was a giant hound. I need to be careful. Guys, we actually faced the horde in this place where I couldn't understand where the zombies were coming from. I couldn't understand for the life of me where the zombies were coming from, but then I realized, oh, there's a staircase over here. It seems that dogs, especially the guppies, struggle to make it up these stairs, which is awesome for us. Because these guppies do insane amounts of damage to your armor. Or like, more or less, what armor? Okay, these guppies and dogs and everything dead. Ooh, um... Oh, I'm wearing the wrong glasses as well. We need to kill zombies with this. And then loot to the other glasses. Damage on, other glasses. Okay, so we go through here. We can actually loot this. 
And then I should also break it as well. We need as much cobble as possible. Hello, hello. I shouldn't shoot like that because there might be some good loot behind it. Wait, where am I going right now? I'm trying to get to that top floor with the final stashes. So I'm going the wrong side. I need to fall in on the roof. All the zombies more or less woke up just now, so we should be able to get away with this. Okay, jump up, jump up. Thank you. Use this one. And then... I don't think these zombies spawned in at all. At least we do have this if we really needed to. I wonder if I shouldn't do this. If there's a dog or like a guppy or something, I could just explode in their face. Hello? Oops! I hope there was nothing important back here. If there was, I accidentally just destroyed it. Guys, I can't wait to get end game of the series. Also, apparently you guys said that in toasters... Uh, you can leave toasters for the sh uh, sam sham sandwiches. That's awesome. Like uh, this toaster over here. Yep, there you go. So uh, we always, always, always need these sham ch sandwiches. And now we have an easy way to get it. I oh, know there's dogs and stuff breaking out from all over now. I should probably be careful uh, when they break through over here. We have the right glasses on, right? Yes. As soon as that dog makes a hole over there, we need to actually go and shoot it. Technically, the dog alone, I should actually kill him. The zombies aren't that hard to kill, but the dogs themselves are insane. Okay, so there's, since there's no zombies here, we can just save a little bit of time and do this. They're gonna try and break through the door behind me, though. I need to be careful. Um... Let's make sure they're dead. There you go. Okay, should be good to go. So what I should do is just do this. And then do this. I want to open this up quickly and see what's inside. Come on, how many of these am I going to have to waste? It's getting late as well, so we need to be careful. Some of these zombies are really dumb. If they went on top of the roof, the ladder system we had on the other side... They'd be able to make it to me really easily. All right, two more. So we're going to throw one. Right click, throw the other one, and it's going to go off double. It's like chaining effect. It's nice. Boom, boom. Oh, wow. I wonder if a chained effect doesn't really help that much. It has to go off one at a time. Although that did way more damage than the first one. So this is working, although very slowly. Okay, so scrap leather armor. I don't know if we have better than that, but let's just quickly make some space over here. Do that, grab that, and now we have to get out of here. A little bit of a lag spike, so maybe a few zombies waiting for us. I wonder if I shouldn't go try and do that housing unit over there. Tier 1 clear. It's a tier 1, so it should be easy enough. Where or oh where or oh where on the map are you? That side. Can I get up out of here? Nope, locked. Although we can just jump over the roof. Or over the wall, I mean. Uh, do this, do this. I need to go put stuff away as well because we are so encumbered at the moment. I just really hope this place we're going to loot right now is what I think it is. Because I still need a few of those rucksacks to be able to actually get stuff done. At the moment, being encumbered every single time we do something is really annoying. This PR actually reminds me of the other one we used to do. I wonder if this is that one, but just refurbished, redone. Okay, so this one, if I'm not mistaken, we'll really loot the whole place. Yep. Now, when we accept this, I just need to make sure we are not encumbered or close to. Let's lock 13 for now. I need to be very, very careful. There's a ton of zombies going to spawn in now. Especially dogs. No dogs? Okay, cool. Uh, Lucky Looter. Well, I don't think Lucky Looter helps with rucksacks, but it does. I just want to make sure that we actually get some rucksacks. While we're looting, we need to make sure we always have these on. It's a shame that they actually nerfed the chance of getting rucksacks now. It used to be, I think, 0.2%. Now it's like 0.02 or something. I might be wrong. I'm just I, Sometimes I just read comments and then I take it as fact. I don't really test it myself, and I should. 
Wait, this is a clear quest, so this time around there should be zombies. Last time I went through here, there were no sleepers at all. Okay, she's gonna jump. Yep. Uh, damn it. Ooh, nice. Okay, remember guys, Feral Sense is on. We have to be careful of all the zombies coming for us. We'll start on the very top. There's bound to be vultures and stuff as well, so we'll be careful. Oh, do we have a range on us? We do, right. Yes, awesome. Okay, and we can do this, do this. And where are my bandages? There you go. I want to make sure that when we loot this place, we loot it completely. Um, although, any, only final stashes I feel like I'm going to loot with my luck looter goggles. But now it's just faster doing this. Oh, you know what? I can actually use my breaching line to go through doors. It's faster. And then while I'm reloading, we can... Oh, I should actually first try and reload. Or first read and then reload. And you can do both of them at the same time. But yeah, guys, I know it can just use... I, I'm actually wasting breaching rounds. We have so many breaching... Or rather, time charges and stuff. It's actually faster just breaking through doors this way. It makes sense, right? You have something that can actually make it speedy, so why not use it? I mean, I should probably use it on, like, iron doors and stuff like that. I just have this feeling that I get vultures and stuff. It says it's a, le a level 1 clear quest, so there's supposed to be zombies over here. But I just have this feeling like there's only going to be, like, one zombie or something. Look how fast that was. Damn. I need to be careful though, one of these rooms are definitely going to have a zombie in, or one of these rooms is. My English. Okay, um, there might be a vulture on top. I might be looking in all the wrong places right now. There's either going to be a, a zombie over here, or there's going to be zombie. Okay, I was already there, right? Yes. Um, but yeah, uh, there might be a zombie in the first or second room over here, or there might be vultures on top. It does say that there is a zombie close by, because this is a clear quest. Although, so far, I haven't seen any sleepers yet, so there might just be, like, one zombie. Although, if this is a vulture kill quest, I just really hope we can kill the vulture before it bites us. Guys, I really don't feel like dying right now just because we don't have the vulture killing kits. Yeah, it's gonna be a vulture. Damn it. All the zombies just sleeping around this place that we didn't notice. But basically, isn't it supposed to, now that we've cleared this whole place, isn't it supposed to show us where the dots are? Because I'm guessing it's definitely going to be a vulture on top or something. We need to be careful, we are stuck in a very small room right now. With quite a few zombies coming for us. Okay, so Lucky Luda, do this. We are encumbered by quite a few items as well, we need to be careful. Okay, so I should probably just quickly make some space over here, where stuff we can. Nope, no, 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 where, thank you. Uh, scrap. Scrap one at a time, drink. Scrap, scrap. Let's go for some stamina since we are a little bit encumbered. I'm not going to throw anything away this time. Because now I know later we might actually need some stuff. Stuff that I know for a fact that we're not going to use right now. I'll just get rid of. Oh, oh no. Where the hell though? No, wait, what? There's definitely a kill, uh, kill clear quest, but there's no zombies over here. How's that possible? Is there a sleeper? Oops, don't break your leg, damn it. Don't break your bloody leg. Where's the zombie, though? We just cleared this whole place and there's no zombies, no red dots. You can tell me this one's bugged and there it was supposed to be zombies, but there's not. There's definitely nothing underneath of here, guys. This thing is bust. I'm going to have to cancel this quest because there is no zombie over here. I might get lucky if I run around like this and see if I can't find one on the border. But inside this PR there's nothing. No zombies at all. That is rather unfortunate. There's no zombies over here. Okay, cool. So we're just going to go back to our trader and just drop everything off. Um, I thought I might be hand able to hand in this quest to the trader, but unfortunately... Quest failed because there was no zombies to kill. Damn, that really sucks. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to go back to the base, drop everything off. If you guys know what just happened, did I look past the zombie? Was there a sleeper I just didn't see that just didn't wake up? Because you know sometimes there are zombies that just don't wake up, no matter what you do. Just let me know down below, did I miss it or was that quest bug? Because we did, even did the kill all uh, command, so if sleepers were spawned in, 
killing all of them like that should have actually done the trick as well i'm gonna go back to the base i'm gonna heal my legs i'm gonna put everything away and then i'll see you guys next episode so if you guys like this episode please like and share with your friends any comments or tips or feedback what do you guys think about my war defense anything at all leave your comments down below and if you guys are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button for more of this content see you guys next time for some more ways uk hopefully unbugged fun a big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support to join them in supporting the channel please click join or the patreon link in the description down below